Hello, this is Dread from Epic Builds, and in today's video topic, we're wrestling some feathers. So, there was a post on the last Epoch Reddit recently. I, I peruse it sometimes. There are sometimes interesting things, especially the devs like to respond to people with information on here, and there's no way of tracking them like there are with the GGG tracker. So, I have to actually read the Reddit. God bless my soul. So, there was this post, right? They were essentially asking, what's like the best build, right? Obviously, everyone asks that question, right? And they listed off some stuff that they know, like Poison Umbra Blades, you know, like the stupid infinite damage shaman with the thorn totems and stuff, and stuff that don't really, like, deserve to be on this list, like Hammer Throw Smite, that doesn't deserve to be on this list. Void Auto Bomber doesn't deserve to be on this list either, especially the Crit Devouring Orb version. Like, the Abyss, if anything, the Abyssal Echo version should be the one that gets on this list, considering how many times it's topped Vision Tourneys. And, like, Abomination, it's like, as soon as I saw that, I was, like, triggered. So, of course, in common dread fashion, I uh, made, made, made a post that ruffled everyone's feathers. I like to make joke posts. And that's kind of what this is. The reason why I made a post like this is because, in all reality... Realistically, with the current state of the last Epoch ladder and everything going on with this, nobody freaking knows what the best builds are because not enough people are playing the game. So there's kind of no point in posts like this. And that was kind of what my, my post on Reddit was supposed to point out. It was like, hey, no one actually knows, right? Legitimately, no one actually knows. Not even, like... Like, we have a kind of an idea of what we know, but we don't actually know. And that's just because of how the ladder has been mismanaged for how long now, and we have to deal with all this shit, right? Now, what if I told you, who is the actual number one person on the ladder right now in terms of who actually got there and played the game, right? Instead of just typing in a funny number, right? What if I told you it was the 17th spot? We have Frostbite, oh wait, no, not this guy, I'm sorry, Nephis, the 18th spot. This guy right here, this is a moon. We know a moon. He uh, he streamed his push with the Lich. It's strength stacking, I mean, it was a uh, armor stacking Lich, right? And the one right before that, it's Cybertunk with Cold.HOA. Cold.HOA kicked the ass of every single build before it, right? Even if we we're going to go into like hardcore solo or an S uh, SSF solo, like Cold. Hail of Arrows kicked the ass of everyone else, right, on the list, in terms of people that actually play the game and not just post numbers. And what I'm saying here, and now, like, look at this. Cold HOA, nowhere near here, right? That's what I'm trying to say. No one actually knows what the, the best builds are. We have an inkling, we have an understanding of what is good in Last Epoch, but nobody knows. Like, for instance, uh, Poison Umber Blades... We didn't even know existed. We, we didn't even care about it until Flurry was nerfed. Flurry was the number one build, or at least, you know, in terms of DPS, right? That's what we all thought. And then Flurry was nerfed eventually, thanks to Arborist. And then everyone started playing Poison Umbra Blades. I played it before everyone else, and it was great. And then everyone started pushing it to the absolute extreme. Like I said, no one actually knows, and that's why a post like this is just amusing to me, right? And that's why I posted a joke comment that everyone took too seriously. Imagine that. Something the Path of Exile community and the Last Epoch community share is they take jokes way too seriously. Now, wh why am I bringing this up? Even Path of Exile has this problem, right? What is the best build is never known because there are plenty of builds that do a lot of damage. There are plenty of builds that do ridiculous amounts of damage. I think the only time in Path of Exile's history, where a build was considered, like, the best of the best, was, like, when aura stackers were a thing, or they still are. And it's, like, even then, there's still builds that, like, beat the aura stackers these days. Like, not even, not even, not even Path of Exile, like, not even the Path of Exile people know what the best build are. 12% of all people playing right now, oh, at least 18% of 12% or whatever, are all playing Righteous Fire, Right? Like, they're all playing Inquisitor. But there are plenty of other builds other than Inquisitor that do better than Inquisitor, right? There are plenty of occultist builds. There's, like, Forbidden Right occultist builds and stuff like that. 
No one actually knows. All they know is what they enjoy. And that's kind of the problem with a post like this, right? Is when posts like this are made, each she notices because they don't really have a way of actually knowing what the best is currently in game or what the most played is because they don't have the API yet. So when they see something like this, and like Abomination is great. Don't get me wrong. I love Abomination. I, I stand for Abomination, but it has some of the most buggy AI I've ever seen, okay? Sure, it does a lot of damage, but a lot of other skills do a lot of damage and nobody plays them, right? Like for instance, Lethal Mirage, right? Let's let's show you, right? Let, let's let's show you. Lethal Mirage here. Lethal Mirage does a lot of damage, but nobody plays it, right? Why is that? Because it's not the best skill. Like that that's like the problem with posts like this, right? And it must be wanting dread. Well, then why did you make a meta builds video, right? Well, half of this is because of YouTube, because if I don't analytically, uh, you know, tag my videos correctly, YouTube will come to my house and they will uh, kidnap my children. So generally I found if I try to actually make my videos analytically proved, right? Generally YouTube leaves me alone, right? And I actually do well on YouTube, right? It's, this is just a YouTube thing. If you've done YouTube as long as me, you understand why I do stuff like this, right? You'll understand completely. Now, in this video, I have Summon Wraith, right? That's a strong build. Everyone thinks it's a really good build right now, which it is, right? And then of course I have something like Cold Out Werebear. It was one of the most, Cold Out Werebear is not the best build ever, okay? Like it has its problems, okay? Like it's purely melee. It sucks in arena because, you know, arena is a completely different meta, right? but I still stand for it. Why is that? Because it's one of the smoothest clears in the game. Like you just run through monoliths like it's nothing, right? It's it's casual, it's great. The reason why the word meta is very, very loose in terms of what it actually means. And a lot of people like think it means the best. No, it just means like the best way of going about things. Like for instance, in an SSF uh, start, Cold Out Werebear would probably be a very meta build because being able to just go through the entire game without even a thought at all and just relaxed, right? It is, is something people like. Why do you think people like RF so much? It's because it's a casual play style that everyone enjoys, right? It's not the best build ever. It doesn't do the most DPS, but it's a fun build, right? And that's like the same with the rest of these, like Hammer Throw Paladin, although I think this is like very underrated, by the way. Uh, considering like it's very very underrated and then like static orb sorcerer a while static uh lightning blast is one of the best if not the best skills in terms of single target dps right now and nobody's playing that nobody's talking about that that's because nobody actually knows what is meta i don't know what is meta all i know is what i've played right like with the build section here like a lot of these don't even like like aren't even the best builds ever. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, right? The, the problem is, is the expectations that people have in terms of video games and like, we got to find the best. Well, the problem is not enough people play the game currently to know what is the best because there have been plenty of builds that have been hidden for a long time. Like for instance, like Mr. Uh, whoever this is likes to point out, he just commented flame, bur flame burst rise up, right? Like, it's just a joke, right? Flameburst uh, was a really good build, like a really good uh, Warpath build. It's one of the best Warpath builds, but nobody talks about it because nobody plays it because nobody has played it. Nobody's refined it. The only person that's played it is me, right? It like uh, It's like with a lot of these builds. Like, for instance, uh, let me find it here. Uh, in, I think it's here, right? Like, for instance, I'm waiting for it. I don't know why it's lagging. Please stop. Thank you. Uh, this build, this build right here, this build's a perfect fucking example, right? This is a friend of mine. This is Lone Star McFluffins. Uh, you should read this guide. He worked, put a lot of effort into this guide, okay? It's Warpath. It's Void Knight Warpath, right? I have a Void Knight Warpath build, right? Right? This build. This build, right? I do a lot of fucking damage with this build, right? The thing is... Guess what? Neither this nor this is better. This does a lot more damage. It's a lot more high maintenance. This does a lot less damage, but it's a lot less high maintenance. 
it really is up to the viewer or the person who plays the build, like preference. Do you want to spam reversal and stuff constantly and like do a lot of damage? Or do you just want to have a casual time, have a cup of tea while you're doing monoliths, right? That's like the problem with this discussion is what is meta for some people is completely different for others. Lone Star, he likes to actually be able to sip his coffee when he's playing the game. I, I like big numbers, right? This build isn't tanky. This build isn't tanky either, right? Judgment Warpath is actually probably one of the best Warpath builds currently, but you see no one playing it because it's a clunky playstyle, right? Nobody likes clunky playstyles, so they don't play it, right? Like for instance, uh, Abyssal Echoes Void Knight is probably the best version of Void Knight Caster right now. Nobody's playing it. Why is that? Because it's one extra button you have to press, but it's the most, it's the best in terms of power, best in terms of DPS, best in terms of tankiness, but nobody's playing it. Why is that? Because it takes one extra button and people don't like that. They want to be able to put their stuff on auto, uh, you know, on hotkey, like on, on auto hotkey, right? They want to be able to put it on numlock and ignore it completely, right? That's the thing. Meta, meta for me is not meta for you, right? And that's kind of the point of this Reddit post. It was more of a joke, right? Like, obviously, this is satire. But it's like, no one, no one understands that because of how ingrained the word meta is in people's minds and ARPGs specifically, right? Like I said, no one actually knows, okay? All we know is what is bad, Kappa. Wait, why is Trickster still? Oh, I'm looking at Sentinel. Oh my God, <laughs> I trolled myself. All right, still Inquisitor 18%. Who would have thought, right? But still, right? That's like that's like the problem. That's what I'm trying to that's what I'm trying to help people understand is no one actually knows what is good right now. With all that being said, this has been Dread from Epic Builds. Off to go work on builds. Bye.